Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman and today we are in our math journals on page 27. We're in unit 1, lesson 11, dealing with geometry, points, line segments, lines, and rays. Now if you are reading that title and some or all of those terms aren't familiar with you, the first thing I would suggest you do is consult your SRB, that uh, beautiful textbook that uh, you were assigned along with your everyday math materials. Uh, if you ever have a question about a concept or an idea in math, you need to consult your reference book. But for those of you at home, uh, just for convenience sake, I have included this uh, poster digitally so that we can reference uh, these terms as we go. So these are the uh, geometric uh, uh, shapes and um, figures that we are going to be dealing with uh, today. The instructions say use a straight edge to draw the following. 1A says draw and label a line segment, and we're going to label it RT. Now again, the difference between a line and a line segment is uh, whether it starts or stops. See, a line, uh, like this figure PR, technically could go on forever, whereas a line segment has definite endpoints. The endpoints means that it ends at some point here and here. So line segment EF uh, starts at E or ends in E, and it ends in F or starts with F. Okay, so line segments have a beginning and end point. So when we look at this problem right here, I'm going to start by creating what will be a line segment. I'm going to use this geometry tool here. There we go. And I'm going to add some endpoints here and here. So now all I have to do is label those points. Okay. R and T. Okay. Now you're noticing that I put those letters in reverse. You were expecting that I was going to put R on the left and T to the right. Now, if you are doing this in your math journal, your notebook, if you just turn your notebook upside down, 180 degrees, you'll see that the R is suddenly on the uh, left-hand side and the T is on the right. So that means another name for RT would be TR. Okay? Let's take a look at another problem. Let's look at 3A. It says, uh, draw and label ray SL. Draw and label a point R on it. Okay, so again, we need to define what a ray is. So we're going to go back to our handy reference chart. Now, a segment has endpoints. A line goes on forever. Um, sidebar. If you've ever watched the Toy Story franchise of movies, Buzz Lightyear's signature line to infinity and beyond, that's a joke, okay? Because infinity goes on forever. So if you go beyond infinity, you're going beyond forever. So it does make sense. So it's a math joke slid in by the animators. A ray is somewhere in between a segment and a line because it has one endpoint... But then the other side of the figure goes on infinitely in just one direction. A line goes infinitely in two directions. A ray starts with an endpoint and goes away. Okay? The way that I like to think about rays is by thinking of the sun. Okay? A sun emits light and heat and those sunshine rays emanate from that burning hot mass of gas in the center. All sunlight, all radiation, all the heat that comes from our sun starts from the center point, which is that gassy star that's burning in our solar system. Okay? So a ray of light should help you remember what a ray is like. Okay? So let's draw a ray. OK? 
Okay. Array labeled SL. Okay, so I'm going to use my drawing tool here. There we go. I'm going to put an arrow on it. So if you notice that in the first problem, segment RT can be labeled TR as well. Okay, however, rays are pickier. You have to label the ray according to which letter comes first. Okay, the S comes first in this name, so that means that's our endpoint. We have to label the endpoint as S, and then we have to draw another point somewhere on here and label that L. Now, it says draw and label a point R on it. So a point can go anywhere along a line segment, a line, or a ray. It's just a stopping point. Okay, so let's put R right here. Okay, so that's where I chose to put my point, so now I just label it R. Okay, so there is a, a ray labeled SL, and some, uh, somewhere along that ray we have a point. Okay? So this activity is really just a matter of practicing how to draw geometric uh, figures. It's pretty easy when you have a reference to look at, either using this poster right here that is digitally attached to this uh, to this tutorial, or you can have an analog, physical, something you can open every day, even when the power is out and your batteries are drained, reference, book, you can get into that and it will always show you what these figures are. If you have questions, reach out to your math teacher, otherwise we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.